Welcome everyone to this revival of our midweek reflections on some of our favourite hymns. Zoom worship is marvellous, but what's interesting to me is the amount of positive feedback I've had on these midweek reflections on our favourite hymns. In a way, I'm not surprised. There's something about music that reaches into our souls, and music makes the words of hymns more memorable to us. This preacher has a sinking feeling that however dynamic or erudite the sermons I may have preached in the past may have been, it's doubtful they'll be remembered. The words of hymns, however, are another matter. This week's hymn was published in 1987 and in 2005 made it into number 10 place in the BBC's Songs of Praise favourite hymn survey. It's indeed one of the more popular hymns of the last 30 years. Damien Thompson, the editor-in-chief of the Catholic Herald, called it the most loathed of all happy clappy hymns. It may be popular, but it certainly divides opinion. It is, of course, Graham Kendrick's Shine, Jesus Shine. Personally, I like it. Verse 1 begins with the line, Lord, the light of your love is shining, in the midst of the darkness shining. It draws its inspiration from John chapter 8, where Jesus is described as the light of the world, a light that sets us free by the truth. And the second verse develops that theme as we ask Christ's light to consume our darkness and turn the shadows of our lives into Christ's radiance. The whole hymn builds to a crescendo in the final verse where Kendrick draws upon the imagery of that great Wesley hymn, Love Divine, All Loves Excelling, by paraphrasing it in the words, ever changing from glory to glory, as we mirror Christ in our lives. And the verse concludes with the petition that really the whole hymn has been leading to. May our lives tell your story. It's easy to understand that Kendrick wrote this hymn as a hymn for revival. Naming the desire that in our lives and in the church, the brightness of God, the glory of God may shine in the dark places of our world and communities. Isn't that a hope and a prayer that all of us can share in? That somehow something of the goodness of God, the compassion of God, the care of God can in some way be reflected in the daily chores and tasks of our lives. And especially as we seek to serve Christ's world in compassion. Apparently, when Kendrick wrote the hymn at first, it was without the chorus and he felt something was missing. And that was when those famous lines of the chorus came to him. Shine, Jesus, shine. I don't know about you, but this week it is dawning on me that life is not going to be back to normal by Christmas. In fact, it may be a very long time before life is anything like back to normal. And even then, of course, things will be different. If there was a time for hope, this is it. And I will say this about Kendrick's hymn. It has good sentiment and a sunny, hopeful, confident tune. And that is something I think that could lift us all. So please enjoy. Shine, Jesus, shine, played by our director of music, Ewan.